Oh, hello everyone. I'm back here now on my Minecraft world and uh, it's been a while actually. I've been quite looking forward to this. So let's have a quick run through everything that has changed. Ooh, throw away my axe there. Uh, changed since the last time we were about. So uh, the, the first one of course is the Christmas decorations. They had to come down but I couldn't bring I couldn't bring myself to tear down Slimy, so I think I think Slimy's probably going to end up living there now. Uh, so might be needing to find a uh, another Christmas lo uh, or you know sort of seasonal build location, or I might just move Slimy. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Uh, Dragon Wolf Tamer has started building herself a house there. Uh, only just started, so we'll give her a while to build something before we go get too nosy. And uh, those of you who didn't watch the last live stream on this world, we did some um, building underneath spawn, which we're just going to go and have a quick look at now. And actually, while we're dirt going there, that's a uh, something I've been meaning to raise with you guys. This this world, this this village, doesn't actually have a name. So I was thinking, why don't you guys make some suggestions? I mean, I, I could use a name for the world, and I could also use a name for the spawn village. They could be the same. They could be different. If you have any ideas, drop us a comment. It'd be much appreciated because I've got no idea what to call them, to be honest with you. So yeah, um, last uh, live stream we dug out under here and uh, built a few little factories. So uh, there's the uh, the sugar cane here, which means it doesn't have to be in my uh, my garden anymore. And I added a a quick. Um, Cactus factory as well, which, uh, as you can see, they've been producing quite nice, and I've been dipping into these a few times as well. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, probably produced, I don't know, uh, probably about 50% more than that in the last couple of weeks. So, I'm quite happy with those. They've been chugging along nicely, and I'm going to be adding a few more bits and pieces to this. The next one will be um, pumpkins and melons, and I'll probably add flowers as well. A few other little bits and pieces down here. Just get all this running automatically because it's underneath the spawn village. Every time someone's on um, and in the area, these machines will be chugging along quite nicely and they'll just carry on filling up those chests. And eventually I'm going to build myself a shop to go with it. Go with it. And yeah, I say shop, but it'll just be a place where people can go and come and pick up this stuff and help themselves to it. So there is that. Um... What else has been happening? Well, um, also during the live stream, I built an. Hmm. I see the gullens are turning into ducks. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. I've built an experimental melon and uh, pumpkin grower. In fact, I've built a couple. Uh, let's just go back to my experimental area quickly. I'll give you uh, uh, a quick show. So there we are. Getting the feeling, getting the urge to rebuild this place. Might do that someone soon. Oh, it's nice and all that, but it's getting a bit old. Hello, Ted. Hello, Bill. So down here to the experimental area. Okay, so I originally built this one which has one pumpkin and one melon plant growing on it and that's worked quite well the uh, the jack-o-lanterns provide enough light for it to grow indoors and it's been chugging on quite nice if you look in this emptied these the other day and they produced a little bit since and but then I came with this one and this one is using more or less the same space as you can see there oh I'll have that melon, thank you very much. That was quite well timed, wasn't it? Okay, um, using more or less the same space, we have pumpkin, 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 and melon. The idea is that these two plants will grow into that space, and these two plants will grow into that space. The chances of both plants wanting to provide a fruit exactly the same time is about nil. So what happens is let's grab a, uh, a pumpkin here to, uh, to show this off what happens is here is that the pumpkin grows 
the pistons push it off. Most of the time, it falls into the water. Goes down here and eventually end up in here. So this, I think, is going to be the design I'm going to use. So I will be building one of these down in the little farm area underneath spawn. But uh, while I was building this, I kept on hearing zombies and skeletons from over behind here. So I thought, you know, just for a change of pace, I don't think we've done this on this world yet. Let's have a little explore and see what is in the other side of this wall. So that's... Oh, now that's a lot of canyon, isn't it? Right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's put some armor on. And let's go and actually have a look at what's down there, shall we? Start with the iron deposit. I won't say no to that. There we go. Huh. I'd actually dug through there as part of building the room there, so I, I must have just missed this place. In fact, I was very close to seeing this place all the time, wasn't I? So, right, let's have a quick explore down here, shall we? see what we can find. I could actually use some diamonds at the moment, so got no real problems with doing this. So yeah, naming the spawn village and this world, it's, I think it's about time we did it. And one of the reasons, to be totally honest with you, why I haven't done it so far is because I, I just can't think of anything. So I'm going to throw it open to you fine people because I'm sure you have some ideas. And uh, as I said, I will let the other, the other uh, residents of the world see what you have to, to decide and they can voice their opinions and the winner I'm not entirely certain what I can give as a prize but we'll try to think of something so all right, let's have a quick look over the other side and then after we've done that we should go down to the bottom hmm. uh. So it looks like this place has been here all the time, it's just we never noticed it, which is a little bit embarrassing, to be honest with you, but it happens. Uh, not expecting anything fun at this level, because we're too high up. But down there should be quite nice, so we will head down that way next. Just... Right. Um, one of the things I was thinking of doing with this world is actually uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking about starting to take requests from people. Oh, that's a lot of lava. I'll be careful there. Is there if there's something you would like to see built? Do let me know. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be technical. De it could be decorative. You know. If you want some ideas, some some help as an idea you've got, yeah, you know, that's the sort of thing I would love to be talking to people about. So, uh, yeah, you know, shout out to me if you've got something you'd like to talk about, and we'll try to make an uh, an episode out of it if it's a if it's a good idea and if it could be done in a reasonable length of time. You know, if you if your life's ambition is to build a scale model of the Eiffel Tower possibly not going to be able to help you here but uh, if um, you know if you want to build something or if there's a farm that you would like to see made I'm going to go through all the major farms on this world anyway but uh, you know if I know that somebody's interested in a particular farm I might um, uh, feel the urge to uh, bump doing that particular farm up the list all right okay I think we're done here The problem is that this end is the end that's over the lava, so let's actually try going down from the other side, shall we? Oh, I love walking along the edge of cliffs like this. Oh, right, where's our way back in? Our way back in is actually over there, isn't it? So, right. Oh, there's our way down.
and there's a creeper at the bottom so weapons at the ready and tally ho Ooh, I love doing that. <laughs> Let's stay here for a moment, shall we? Okay. This is the chance to see what's going on. It looks like there's something up there. So perhaps we should take a look there. Oh, there's actually another cavern going in this direction, by the looks of it. All this under spawn. We never saw it. Wow, did we do a good job? You know, I'm getting the feeling that uh, my next job should be selling cough mixture to zombies. Uh, be nice if we found some diamonds. How low are we actually, by the way? If we're down at 40, so we're not quite at the diamond level yet. But, uh,. It's only a matter of time, the way we're going. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. There we go. Hello. Get you quickly. And your friend. Nice of you to drop in. Sounds like there's uh, some zombies trying... Oh, there you are. Wonder where you turned on. Where we gone up to? Hmm. Right, it's probably the the zombies were trying to get in through there. Right. Oh, have a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have said that I haven't done a caving episode in a while. So here we go. One caving episode. Um. Oh, somebody's been here. Uh, it's perhaps this wasn't as unexplored as I first thought. Oh, actually, I know this area. This was the first cave we explored, first after we started this server. And... I don't think we ever did finish it because we had no weapons, no armor, and no hope of survival. It's loads of fun. Uh, okay, well that's that bit done. Now no. Something going on around here. Let's uh, have a dig down. Let's just have a quick look, just to see if there is anything down here. And the answer appears to be no, unless you want lots of flint. And I don't ever say no to a load of flint, so that's good. So let's get back out here. Let's have a quick look up here and see if we can find anything fun here. Ah, uh, okay, that's where the zombies were coming from. They were above us, not below us. And it was that lava that was eating them. So... See if we can do something about this lava without flooding the entire area. Then I'll do. So that will subside. And there we go. Alright, so yes, um, two Minecraft worlds now. Uh, I hope you guys saw the uh, the episode the other day. I'm doing some stuff with the nice guys from Team Suck Tuck Thah. Try that again with my teeth in. Some nice some stuff with the nice guys from Team Tuxedo. And oh, that was nice of you. And they've uh, invited me to join their world after they restarted it. It's great fun, starting again afresh. Um, I'm hoping to have a different sort of attitude with that world. Uh, what I'm aiming for is more. Uh, what I'm aiming for is more collaboration builds doing stuff as part of the community whereas this one will probably stay more doing uh, you know the, the, the stuff that I personally find interesting or um, 
more automation, more redstone, things like that. There's uh, less of a call for it on the tuxedo server. So hopefully the two worlds will carry on quite happily in parallel for a bit, which uh, should be nice. Okay, so... Oh, hello. Thank you for having the decency of not sneaking up on me. That looks like there's something up there, so let's go and have a look. Let's get something to eat first. Eat some clucking good chicken. And yes, I said clucking. Uh, uh. Yeah, I think we're actually going our way through the Brothers Creeper here at the moment. There's 15 of them. And they all live in the same two bedroom house. Which explains why they're all so annoyed. Hello, there's another one. Topiary! I get bored saying Banzai. Banzai, Bonsai, Topiary. No, uh, okay. Alright, okay, and uh, a bit more. Uh, iron there. I always use iron, especially after making uh, uh, an 800 block long. Well, actually, it was closer to a 900 block long railway station in there, which is finished. And I'll go and show you that soon. Guys, and we'll build the train station together. But uh, making all that railway track has left me a touch short of iron, so I'm not objecting to this, but hey. What we really want here is diamonds, isn't it? That's uh, that's 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 the fun bit. That's where the party is. So yeah, we get some diamonds out of this. That would be excellent. Am I full? I'm full. Uh, okay, have we no, nothing of interest there. Interest there. Bit of iron there. That always of interest. Oh, that looks impressive through there, doesn't it? And ah, that's where we are. We're on top of where we came in. And I keep on missing. But that gives us a chance to do that. Which there we go, that gets rid of that uh, lava, which is good. And thank you for sending me that message. I'm telling you, yeah, I'm. Nobody ever wants to talk to me until I'm actually recording. It's quite amusing, actually. Yeah. I think somewhere there is a sensor. You know, there's a an agency that says, you know, he's he's on the uh, yeah, he's 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 recording. He's talking to his YouTube friends. Now's the time. Give him a call. Uh, okay, right, we've done all that, we've done all that, we've done all that. Uh, oh, we missed all that. And... It leaves us with the stuff down here. Oh boy, that's a long way down, isn't it? I think if we're on level 40 now... Suicide zombie. It's probably going to get us all the way down to the bottom. Okay, not suicide zombie. Zombie pushing other zombie off. Go on. Go on. Do love the overly dramatic way they die. Okay, let's get down to the bottom of this. Let's uh, just get that hunger up to full. And then let's just duck in here and go down to the bottom. I think we'll arm ourselves with something a touch more deadly than the chicken. I'm also expecting, yes, I was expecting lots of company down here. And they didn't disappoint, did they? So let's thin the ranks a touch. Start with you, because you can shoot back. There we go. And you... And you, 
and especially you. <laughs> Great, let's get this one first because he's the most dangerous. Took a little bit of light down here. And we'll deal with the rest of his stuff attacking us in a second. Let's do a quick look here. Boy, this is busy, isn't it? Ah, right, they've had a chance to get through. Oh, right, hello. That wasn't worth the effort, was it? Where'd you come from? Teach me not to pay attention. Let's block that one up. It's getting a bit busy down here, isn't it? Uh, and there's an even bigger party down there by the looks of it. So let's plug up some of this water. And that'll make it easier for us to get down there. Huh. <laughs> right, okay. It's determined to make it hard for me. Alright, let's... Do you want to do it the hard way? Don't do it the hard way. We're going through the wall. Uh, okay, right. You are determined to be rude, so let's deal with you first. Uh, get rid of you. Okay, and what oh, the heck? Let's just run down there and say hello to everyone, shall we? And especially you and the camel you rode in on. I'm making absolutely no oh, hello. You look lonely. Let me help you with that. Yes, I know I'm making absolutely no attempt at uh, navigating down here. But, uh, you know, putting markers to get back and things like that. But uh, at the moment, I'm just working on the assumption that where I want to be is above where I actually am. And that will help me get out. Is not like I want to keep a particular area or anything like that, so I'm just going to be a bit relaxed about that whole idea. But now we're this far down, let's see if we can get ourselves some fun resources. So let's get rid of that bit of sugar and instantly pick up that piece of sugar, of course, and get some lapis because lapis is yummy. Hello. That's a creeper way of saying, hey, you missed this iron over here. Why don't you go and get this iron? Look, look, look at all this iron. Have this iron. Very nice of them to say so, really, isn't it? Right. More of the creeper brothers. I don't remember doing that. Oh, looks like somebody has been here before me. Yeah, somebody's explored down here, but decided they didn't want to explore up here. Oh, fair enough. I see. It looks like somebody's burrowed their way through here, doesn't it? Probably the Hell Kitty, for she doth do this often. But in fact, what a hell. Let's follow this and let's see where it goes. In fact, we are at 25 minutes, so we don't actually have that much left of this episode. And I, I don't seem to have managed to do much at all today, so I do apologise. But uh, let's take a moment and see where this does take us. 
I'm getting curious now. Uh, also getting the feeling I'm going around in circles. <laughs> so anyway, yes. Um, if you guys have bills or ideas that you want to share, or you know, sort of, is this possible type questions, or yeah, you know, I saw but I don't understand things. You know, just chuck them towards me, and I will try to put them into uh, my episode lists. I don't know where we're going. I'm starting to wonder who I am, but we're going somewhere with lava at the end of it. Oh, this is pretty. Take a quick screenshot of that. Ah, this has all definitely been explored, but uh, oh, we had a, a fair run of that, and uh, let's see, we've been digging for about 20 minutes and, and what do we get out of that we got a good couple of stacks through well, possibly three stacks of coal uh, half a stack almost of iron and some lapis and loads and loads and loads of flint so that wasn't bad at all was it so I think I'm gonna leave it there chaps and we shall pick this up again excuse me we shall pick this up again next week where uh, I shall start doing the bills in fact what I will probably do is uh, expand the farms there's a couple of bills I want to do one of them is uh, I will put in the uh, pumpkin and melon farm and show you guys how to do that and I also need to do a monster drop farm which I've started doing um, just laid it out effectively and I'd love to show you guys that one uh, I think you might enjoy it and that one can be used for both experience and items so running into a dead end as I am I shall leave it there I shall say I am Simon Parsons this has been my little Minecraft world thank you and good night Ooh. diamonds